Hi, I'm Justin. Uh, I'm the uh, lead singer for the Australian Molly Crew Show, uh, the Vince Neil, so to speak. And I'm Rhett. I'm the bass player of the Australian Motley Crew Show, playing the part of uh, Nicky Six. Oh, the experience with Motley Crew before creating the band, just a general fan. Just, uh, you know, we grew up in the 80s, we heard the, uh, heard the music come out. Girls, Girls, Girls was the first album that I heard, so I hadn't heard the back catalogue. Once I heard uh, Girls, Girls, Girls and saw the, the video on MTV, it was like, this is, this is cool music and this is a cool band. First song I ever heard of Dr. Phil did, and I was just like drawn in just by that raw guitar sound, and it's like nothing like I've never heard before, you know. I was listening to Guns N' Roses and Aerosmith, and it's just like, yeah. I remember being 15, sitting in my room because I'd been grounded, and I was just listening to music and listening to the radio, and like that's what you did back then. It was awesome. I think I twisted his arm a bit to get it going. Yeah, it's, um, it was a bit of a, uh, being in a, tri a cover band already uh, with Ref and, and just having people come up to us and say, geez, you look like Vince Neil and Nicky Six. Jesus. And the amount of times we heard it, it was just like, do you like Motley Crue? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I would, but yeah, I fucking love Motley Crue. And I was like, fuck, we should start it running up, you know, because this, yeah, this could be good. Um, and uh, next thing you know, it just yeah, it all sort of unfolded. And, it took a couple of years, but it unfolded. And yeah, it took about 12 months. It was, um, yeah, it was a coincidence that people were saying, you know, you guys look a bit like Motley Crue, and then we, well, we, we love Motley Crue. It would be pretty cool to do a Motley Crue tribute band. If you're gonna play a tribute band, Motley Crue would be a pretty awesome tribute band to play in. Mm -hmm. Music comes first, the, the sound comes first, uh, not only did we get told we look a bit like him, but Justin's voice was quite high, so it sounds like Vince Neil. So we thought, well, you know, we, we need to find musicians that can play this stuff. Well, my best mate's a drummer. Uh, I'm not sure, he, he, he looks a lot like Tommy Lee. I knew he'd be able to, to sound like Tommy Lee on the drums and he's got a voice. He's definitely back got that flair, hasn't he? Yeah, he acts like him. He's, he's like a big child. Uh, Guitarists, we kind of just sort of fell into a lap. Like, we were always looking, but we weren't pushing, you know. Like, we, yeah, we sort of just waited for that. Well, I did anyway. We waited for that right sort of person to come along, and uh, George being the first one that came along. Um, didn't hang around like we hoped, but with Richard, he, you, you've known Richard for a little while through the other bands and stuff. And, it just, it just fit. It was, there wasn't anything we were looking for, but Richard just fits. That was part of I think that was kind of part of it, just meeting meeting people and having having fans of Motley Crue that are you know in their late forties and fifties that, that have seen the band live thousands of times, and they come up to your show and they're singing every word to the song when you're playing, and they're coming up to you after the gig and, and appreciating what we do and they're showing us their Motley Crue tattoos and their t-shirts and, and and these are fans of Motley Crue. Yeah, we, yeah being able to share that experience. Yeah. Um, Travelling is definitely, um, you know, being able to travel with music is uh, probably every musician's dream. But um, although we're, you know, doing a tribute show to Motley Crue, um, we're still traveling, like we're still, you know, getting to share it with a whole heap of people outside of our own circles and, um, and like this, and meeting heaps of people and, um, and being on that Facebook page, Messenger, they come back here and they, you know, say, oh, that was a great show, and then all of a sudden you start um, talking about personal things in life, and yeah, so you meet people, you get to know people, and, yeah, really cool. Uh, challenges, well the first challenge was obviously, you know, replacing the guitar player that left and yeah, we fell on our feet with that one, we were lucky. Um, some of the other challenges is there are some die-hard fans out there that are, uh, are huge fans of, of Motley Crue that just don't want to go and see a tribute band, they want to see the real thing and they don't think anybody else should do it. So getting through to them is a, is a bit of a challenge. Yeah, um, trying to make those, those them sort of people, um, um, you know, other people realise that we're not trying to be my people. We just want to share that, you know, that, that love, the um, experience of my crew, and just try and relive a little bit of it, you know. 
Um, everyone can take something away. They might, you know, say that song was shit, or this song was not bad, and, you know, whatever. If they take something positive away, well then, um, that's made my night. And, and it's hard to say, you know, to foresee the future, but it, it's looking, you know, it's, Every day it's looking better. Next year's looking even better. But um, yeah, I'd like to see some uh, overseas travel eventually. My goals change every time we reach another goal. So to travel on the east coast was was a, was a goal that's fulfilled. Okay, so now I'm, I want to reach for the next goal. I'd love to see New Zealand on the cards. To headline a pre-fest next year with their 20th anniversary. I, yeah, I had approached them. That would have been that would be cool, but. If you had have asked us a year ago, you know, our dreams were, were pretty big, but our dreams have been squashed a little bit mm. with COVID-19, so to know, I don't, I don't to know what we're going to do next is a little bit unknown, yeah. but we, you know, we're always aiming high. I don't think it's um, gone away, I just think it's just been delayed a little bit. But yeah. But yeah. Still got the ambition, we just mm. sort of... I won't push for it. I'd just say, yeah, with um, the name Australia Molly Crusoe, overseas, um, you know, I just think it would definitely be a draw card if we, if we went over there. Oh, it'll work. I just don't, I've got that feeling. Yeah, that's, that's what I see, foresee. Yeah.